Okay, so uh, welcome to this uh, I can design tutorial where we'll be looking at uh, the programming method uh, Q code and we're going to use this to uh, show an example of how to uh, change temperature unit between Celsius and Fahrenheit and uh, of course the purpose of this is to demonstrate some of the syntax for this uh, programming method. And uh, we will also uh, get an opportunity to see the state parameter channel that we'll be using for selecting uh, what gets shown on the display. And we'll see some different methods on how to uh, show the value we want on the display page. So either using display control visibility or using text channels. So what we have here is we have the uh, display page with our uh, temperature now being shown in uh, Celsius. And if we want to modify this, let's uh, look at the application where we uh, take this value from. It comes directly from the voltage input here. Uh, so uh, to convert this, uh, this already got uh, the unit set here. So to convert this, uh, we bring in a math uh, channel here and uh, we give it a name, so uh, uh, hydraulic oil. Uh, this is also the hydraulic oil temperature, so it, uh, and when I'm using uh, Q-code I need uh, a unique name, so uh, I just give it something like hydraulic oil temperature F for, and we set the unit here, uh, type in uh, degree Fahrenheit as the unit and we select the uh, method to use here uh, and we have the selection between object list and Q code. So for this we're going to use uh, uh, Q code and uh, uh, to uh, we can start out by just typing in some comment here uh, explaining what we're going to do. So. Conversion from uh, uh, Celsius to uh, Fahrenheit. And in the calculation here, uh, we start out by uh, typing result. Uh, so this is the value of the channel. And uh, we assign this uh, with colon equals and we start typing uh, and we find a list here of the channels that we can select here. So we have the hydraulic oil temperature and to convert this we just need to uh, uh, multiply by 9, divide by 5, add 32. So this gives us the conversion from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. Okay, so I also need the channel for selecting uh, which units that gets shown on the display page. And I find this under miscellaneous, I find the state uh, parameter channel. So let's bring this in and we give this the name temperature unit. And we have a default, this would be uh, Celsius, uh, and we have uh, another one uh, which would be uh, Fahrenheit. So these are the two units that we're switching between. And to make this uh, temperature uh, unit uh, adjustable, uh, uh, what I can do is I can create an adjust group here, and uh, uh, so I right click here, add adjust group, we name this. Uh, uh, unit selection, maybe not the best name, we probably want to change that later on. And we drop this in here. Uh, and now it will be possible to uh, adjust this from the menu system. Uh, but let's go to the display page also. So on the main page here, uh, for the unit selection, we can bring in uh, an interactive control and a state picker. Uh, and this uh, just for the sake of uh, this tutorial, we can use this adjust item here already on the display page. And we also need one value control uh, to look at the value in uh, 
uh, Fahrenheit. So we take this math uh, channel that we had before uh, and select that also and we show value and uh, unit here. Okay, so the trick now will be to, we would only want to show one of them at a the time. So let's go back to the uh, application. Uh, so we can take type control J, we can get back to the application here. And here for the temperature unit, uh, we can, what we can do is that we can connect this to an internal digital to sh uh, control the visibility uh, of uh, our value controls. So we take one that we call show Celsius and we bring in another one and we call this uh, show Fahrenheit. So uh, the, this state parameter, uh, we can use it in a couple of different ways. The uh, One of the ways to do that is that the state is represented uh, by number. So state one is number uh, one. So we could use this and to say uh, show Celsius uh, result is that the temperature unit is equal to zero. So here you see some uh, just to uh, highlight on the syntax here you have colon equals for the assignment and this is the comparison done with a, a normal equal sign. And if we copy this here and we paste in here, uh, we can just change it to one here and this will check for the uh, Fahrenheit on this. So to uh, control the visibility, we have on the value controls, we have the property visible and we select uh, this to be controlled by our internal digital. Um, we do the same for uh, both value controls here. Uh, we can put them so that they're overlapping here. And if we want to move them about as uh, one group, we can click on both of them here and right click, select and grouping them into one. And uh, it only matters for the editor, but we can uh, untick this uh, so that we only see one of them, which makes it a little bit more clear when we're working with uh, overlapping value controls. So let's uh, simulate this now. So with the simulator running now, we can use this state picker to select uh, between which uh, unit we want to show and uh, uh, we see uh, them switching over uh, like this. Uh, but I would like to just use a different method. I really don't like this overlapping uh, value controls. So what we will do here is we'll change this from not really being the value in Fahrenheit, but being any value that's going on the, dis on the display. Uh, and uh, so we'll have one uh, row where the result is the conversion from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit. So this would be uh, if the temperature unit uh, is one, then we make this calculation. And uh, otherwise, uh, else if temperature, uh, oh, wrong one there, else if, temperature unit is zero, then we just use the result as the uh, value from our sensor. Okay. Uh, and we can just add a, a comment here that this is the uh, Celsius value. So we can use this and now this, uh, this channel switches between being in uh, Fahrenheit and Celsius. And we don't really need these two anymore. Uh, what we do need is uh, a way of uh, having that unit that I removed now come up on the display page. So we'll do that with a text channel. The text channel is found under the tab interface here and 
we bring in, in this one and uh, we start out by giving it a name. So this is temperature unit uh, text. Uh, and here we have a property called mode selector and here we can connect uh, channels of type state. So let's bring in this uh, state parameter channel here and we have one text uh, for Celsius and uh, we have uh, another one for Fahrenheit. So we could uh, bring this in uh, on our display page. I'd just like another trick in here and that's the text formatting channel. So uh, uh, temperature uh, display text where I can use this to combine my two uh, uh, things here. My math channel where I uh, calculate the value and my parameter where I uh, set the unit and I just put a delimiter in between the, these as a blank space. And now I can use this as one uh, single value to show on the display page. So on the display page, uh, instead of using this uh, group of uh, overlapping display controls, uh, let's uh, get uh, rid of this and we bring in a value control here. And this refers to our text uh, formatting channel. And we should have uh, be back to uh, the uh, place where we were before, where we had the uh, selection uh, between the two working. Our application is working quite well at this moment, but uh, we just uh, we can make some more changes just to see uh, some more details of how this works. So the first thing I'd like to do is just to sort uh, out the calculation order here so we don't have the uh, delay uh, hint there. And uh, I prefer a better name on this voltage input here. And if you see, I'm referring to this here. So uh, just let's see what's happened when we've changed the name. So hydraulic oil temperature instead of hid dot uh, oil temperature. So what you see, uh, the name follows here. So I don't need to uh, uh, type in the new name here. It keeps uh, the channel reference uh, in the background. Uh, also, let's have a look at how this works if uh, we don't get into uh, one of these states. So maybe just for the sake of uh, demonstrating it, add another state in here. Uh, we, we shouldn't have this uh, unless someone needs a state for Kelvin. I don't think that's very likely. Uh, and here you can see how the Q code looks now uh, when it uh, goes into the, it's in Celsius now. Uh, I put it in Fahrenheit and it highlights uh, those rows. And when I put it in this state two that we, we really don't need, uh, what we get now is that the math uh, channel here is uh, defaulting back to the value zero if I'm not uh, ending up in any of these states. Uh, so uh, that's quite nice when we can go in and view each uh, row here and see uh, which rows are evaluated and what their values are. So in the final step of uh, this uh, tutorial, uh, let's just look at another third way of doing uh, this. So uh, we have a classic icon feature, the function selector. So you select a channel of type state, in this case our temperature unit. And what it gives us is one tab for each uh, state that we have here. So uh, we didn't need the state two, so let's remove that. Uh, and uh, what we do is we take uh, the calculation uh, that makes the conversion to Fahrenheit and we put that uh, on this tab and then we just keep uh, the one referring back to the voltage input uh, uh, on the first tab. And uh, now it's the tabs instead that's illustrating which one were, uh, which are the states that are active. So when I'm simulating now, uh, what I have is uh, by selecting the 
unit here that switches between these uh, tabs instead. Uh, so that's the final step for this tutorial and uh, I hope you will have a look at the next tutorial.